This video is brought to you by Community Coffee. We're thrilled to partner with Community Coffee, a company with four generations supporting causes that make a difference globally and locally. Now Community Coffee is looking for one community superstar that gives back to their community in inspiring ways. The winner will receive an all expense paid trip to the 27th Annual Movie Guide Awards as well as $10,000 to support their future. Click on the link in the description to find out more. Rolling, rolling. Text your mom tomorrow and tell her when and where to pick you up. And, uh, don't do anything stupid. Love you guys. Boys! Get off the ice! A 14-year-old St. Charles boy who spent 15 minutes trapped underwater is continuing to fight for his life. So guys, to uh, get started, what, what are some things that you've learned about each other? Uh, we'll start with you, Josh. What have you learned about Marcel uh, after starting the shoot? <laughs> well, you know, one of the amazing things about being an actor is here you are playing, in this case, a, a father-son who we just met um, just the other day. But we met on a basketball court, and that to me mattered, A, because uh, one of my favorite movies I ever made was about basketball, but also because this guy's a baller. He can play, He, uh, which just like John, just like the character that he plays, uh, he has he has a real incredible shot and incredible uh, incredible skill I have to say so I was pretty but I don't think he knows anything about me yet other than the fact that I've kept myself sort of quiet on set just yeah. like the the real the dad who uh, you know his his the dad the real dad in the story. How about based on the interviews? What have you learned about Josh Marcel? I mean, I can tell he's very talented. Yeah, <laughs> he no, but yeah, I mean, filming with him some scenes and meeting him, of course, in the basketball court. Um, it's, it's fun because we have that kind of relationship in the movie that's the father-son relationship where they're also like best friends. So it's, they connect in that and I guess that's cool and they, they both like basketball and they talk about basketball and he's kind of like his coach, which is cool. So Josh, this is a really powerful story. What is it that you admire about Brian? Well, you know, Brian was a man who uh, the more the, the the more I get to know him, is interesting because he, I think, represents what a lot of people who go through something so terrifying and so painful, is a sense of doubt. You know, a sense of of questioning himself, his faith, his 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 um, his truth. You know, and yet at the same time, because of his incredible relationship with Joyce, his wife, and her extraordinary clear-cut faith and her extraordinary clear-cut belief that he gives over to it. And he, I think he's a very good man, you know, and I think that's what I take away from him. And he's a guy who's deeply in love with his son and his family and his community and his church. Um, and he's also like my grandfather. My grandfather was very involved in his community, but my grandfather was also a very quiet man um, and a very respectable, very moral guy. And um, I think that's what I, that's my sense of who Brian is as well. How about for you, Marcel? Were there traits uh, in John that you really admired and looked up to? Um, yeah, uh, just like he always has his friends' backs. Like they're very um, close to each other, I guess. And I like that he is very strong, like he never give, gave up. And when he comes back, he realizes that at first, he didn't know if his parents cared for him or, or if anyone cared for him. But he saw when everybody started praying for him and everyone in the community came together for him that actually people actually cared. And I think he realizes that and he changes uh, for the better, which is, I admire that about him. What's a scene you're excited for people to see, Marcel? There's many, actually. I guess when, when the boys, they fall into the ice, that was really fun filming and crazy. Uh, the basketball scenes and um, in the church, the last like big speech scene. I think that's going to move everyone. Now, Josh, this is a, a faith-based movie where faith is much at the, the center and core of the story. What's, what's the atmosphere been like while filming? Although I think you're right, it is a faith-based movie, I also find the movie transcends in so many ways because it's just such an extraordinary story. And what I also take away that I, I really respect about the screenplay is the idea that it, that it questions and has people inside, you know, even Brian's character who questions, you know, 
how far can God go in this way? How, you know, how much is God going to actually intervene in a story like this? Or are we, you know, are we not alone by any means? I mean, these, these really interesting questions are there within, within the screenplay and within what really happened here. Um, but, I, and I, I do really take away from it that it, it sort of transcends so many different elements of, I mean, in the, in the end, it just becomes a story that's truly amazing and miraculous. And I think it won't matter what your beliefs are, that that will be something that will make you both intrigued by the story, but also then walk away with it with a really beautiful message is what I most take away from it. Yeah. And, and I'm most moved by the story that way too. How about you, Marcel? Is there, is there something you hope people take away from the movie as they're driving away after seeing it? Yeah, I mean, I know a lot of people are going to be crying, but but um, I think, yeah, just be, be take care of your family and just um, worship every little moment in, that life gives you. Because, yeah, like John said, um, you don't know if there is going to be a tomorrow or something like that. And things happen and this was a miracle that you just have to be thankful for. I believe it, but maybe that only goes so far with something like this. I'm your pastor. I'm supposed to walk alongside you for as long as it takes. Thanks for watching and thanks to Community Coffee for their 100 years dedicated to supporting the local communities they serve. Community Coffee and Movie Guide want to hear how individuals are impacting their community positively. Don't forget to click on the link if you or someone you know is serving their community in extraordinary ways.